When people enter the Auschwitz Memorial, they are immediately encountered with the story of the camp. So they immediately hear about human suffering, dehumanization, executions, torture, death, horrible things. And of course, when people come to Auschwitz, it is natural because this is the site of those suffering. But I sometimes feel when, well, I guide, when I educate, when I talk about this story, that somehow people forget that this is just the end of the long process. That Auschwitz didn't start overnight, that gas chambers weren't, you know, weren't built overnight or just they just landed on the ground. That it, there had to be a long process of normalizing this hatred that led to Auschwitz. Well, we had all thought that anti-Semitism, hate, discrimination against so many other people would be lessened, would be less in this era. And yet we find quite the opposite. We find that anti-Semitism is increasing. We find that hate, discrimination all over the world, whether it be Muslims or Christians or people of different, of different persuasions, um, are being discriminated even more. And so we need this exhibit very badly. We need to educate our young. We need people to understand how this can happen.